Hello and welcome to flashphones.net. Today we're going to learn how to flash your phone. Hello everybody, today we have an HTC Evo 3D compliments of Michael from Deerfield, Illinois. Thank you Michael. Today we're going to flash Michael's phone to Boost Mobile. Now Michael doesn't have a Boost Mobile account so we've set one of those up for him and we've ported his phone number in from Sprint. So if you've got your 3D, let's go. Now the very first thing we want to do is go ahead and shut the phone down because we're we're going to need to RUU the phone back to its original stack settings. Now that the phone's booted down, we want to hold the volume down on the side of the phone and then hit the power button. And now the phone will boot into the bootloader menu. And we're going to go ahead and you can see that fast boot is highlighted. We're going to click the power button and the phone's going to go into fast boot mode. And we're going to go ahead and plug the phone in now. Now the phone's going to plug in, it's going to install the drivers. Just let that install. And the one thing that you want to make sure of, if you go to Device Manager here, is that up here at the Android USB devices, you it needs to say My HDC. If it doesn't, you need to right-click it, update the drivers, browse my computer for software, let me pick. And if it's something else, it's probably going to list the HTC drivers here. If not, you need to go get those drivers. But this needs to see, say my HTC, or the RUU won't work. And so now we'll just go in the file here, go to RUU to stock, and we want to use the uh, 3.706511, and we want to use the 215.19 radio with the 1.90 uh, NV files. We'll click that, we'll let that load up. It takes just a minute. And now we're going to understand that. Click on I understand. We've completed the steps above. Don't pay any attention to that stuff. Just click in next. And now it's going to show us the image version that's on the phone. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Click on Update. And here we go. Now the phone's going to boot into the bootloader mode. And it's going to start to erase the image that's on the phone. And it's going to replace it with the with the new image. This takes a little while so obviously I'm going to speed right through this for time's sake. But you're just going to basically let this run until it's completed. Okay so the RUU is finished and it's taken a while for the phone to boot up. It will do that the first time because it's rewriting all those system files. Once you get it booted back up, it's going to take just a minute to start. It's going to walk you through all the original prompts that were on the phone. So we're going to skip this. We're going to next and next. And basically, you're just going to skip and next through all this stuff. And finally, it will come up to the home screen. Now that we're on the home screen, we're going to go ahead and put it in the diag mode. Now the first thing we want to do is hit settings, menu, then settings, 
and we'll go down to applications go to development and US debugging hit OK now let's go back and you notice it says uh, oh where is it I guess we don't have fast boot okay that's fine go to phone dialer dial pound pound three four two four pound and now it'll put it in the DM command service mode so now we'll plug the phone in as we do that if you don't have the uh, drivers loaded it will automatically load them but here we have the drivers on this computer it takes a minute for them to load if you don't have them just let them go ahead and load and then what we want to do is we'll open up CDMA workshop because we need the MSL off the phone so we'll see there it is import 224 connect on the 3D you can't read it so don't click the read key just go to security put it in HTC mode read the SPC go ahead and disconnect now we can push that off to the side and let's go get uh, QPST so we'll open QPST we'll see that the phone is found here we'll go to start clients and we'll go to service programming we'll click OK and now once in here we're going to go ahead and we're going to load our custom file and once it's loaded we'll come right over here we'll copy this SPC code and we'll click on write to phone we'll put that SPC code in there and click OK it'll write now it'll reboot our phone we can go ahead and close out of QPST now and we'll wait for the phone to boot back up all right, now our phone is almost booted back up. We'll take it out of command mode. As a matter of fact, you can unplug the phone at this point. We're going to go back, click on the dialer, pound pound 786. We're going to go ahead and reset this phone. It's going to ask us for the password to reset. Now, the custom QPST file reset the uh, SPC to all zeros, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Hit OK, and we're going to reset the whole device. It's going to power the phone off. It's going to rewrite, rewrite the whole NV structure of the phone, and then it's going to power itself back on. So I'll see you when it does that. So now the phone's going to boot up, and you're going to want to cancel the hands-free activation when it comes up. We don't want it to do that yet. And again, we're going to be presented with these menus. We're just going to skip and next through them. And it will eventually bring you back to the home screen. All right, now we want to go ahead and connect back to CDMA Workshop. So if you remember, we'll hit the menu and then Settings. We'll go back to Applications, Development, US Debugging, hit OK. Back to the main screen, Phone, Pound, Pound, 3424, Pound. And now we'll go ahead and plug the phone in. Okay, now that the phone's plugged in, we can go to CDMA Workshop. We'll click on Connect. Again, we don't want to read it because we can't with the Evo 3D. We'll come down to the SPC and read it. It will have changed because we 786 the phone. We'll send that to unlock it. And now we'll write the MSL for our boost account. Now we'll come to the memory tab and we're going to write the NV files, the custom NV files over here. These will give us our 3G data.
and then we'll go ahead and we'll erase those because we can only use them once we'll go over to the other tab and we will write our PRL and now we're going to go ahead mode and we're going to reset our phone and we're going to when it boots up this time we're going to let it go ahead and self-activate to the network so now you see our phone's been activated so we're going to click OK and now it's going to update the PRL we're just going to let that go and let it update okay so now our PRL has been updated we can go ahead and click OK it's going to try to update the firmware but since there's no firmware updates for the Evo 3D and Boost that's not going to happen so just cancel it so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit the dialer again we're going to go pound pound 3282 pound and we're going to hit edit in the EPST we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our MSL in. Hit OK. We'll go to Advanced. We want to scroll down to the MMS server. Right here. Now nothing's going to come up here, which is normal. You're just going to put HTTP, a little double thing. see two bars and then mm dot my boost mobile dot com whoops what I do okay I'm used to doing this with two fingers so you get the idea. That's HTTP colon slash slash mm dot my boost mobile dot com. So it looks like that. It's probably not going to be very clear. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. Go back home. And now we will reboot the phone. And that's it. Evo 3D, Flash to Boost Mobile. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, keep on flashing.